Canis Latrans PVS-14. It's not a true phosphorus tube. This is digital. It's basically like a closed circuit TV camera. We'll get into that. So battery runs off two double A's. This is the viewing distance, 200 meters, 600 feet. How far are you going to really shine? You know, <laughs> immediate threat, like the bear. We'll get into the video. It's like 60 feet away from us. <laughs> I wish I could have seen him. 100 yards, uh, 100 feet away from them. But anyways, here's the information and uh, let's proceed with the video. Hey, how you doing today? I'm not a doomdayist, I'm not a prepper, not a survivalist, any of that crap. But I wanted a pair of night vision something. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, me and the channel mascot, Leo, were outside. He dragged me over by the fence line. He took my Ultra Fire flashlight. If I haven't seen that video, watch that. That flashlight's amazing. Shined it out in front of us. <clears throat> Excuse me, about 20, 25 yards in front of us. It's a huge black bear. <laughs> From its rear hind corner to its front hind shoulder, not counting its head sticking out another two feet, its body was about six feet long. This was a big bear, one of the biggest bears I've seen in a long time. At least 300, 350 pounds. And he spooked us. You know, black bear maulings, attacks, are more vicious, they say, than brown bears are grizzly. So, anyways, I wanted something that I could carry. This also has a helmet mount, which I put on there to show you. So I guess if you had some sort of helmet, you could attach a helmet. The downfall is, where this mount goes onto there, screws longer than dead, there's no O-ring. There's no weather sealing. You can see down into the camera body. So if you got moisture ingress in around there, you would probably ruin the unit. I'm not sure that this thing is totally waterproof, water resistant. There's no IP rating whatsoever on it. It's basically, you can see the camera in there. Has some sort of IR filter removed. But if you turn the knob, oops, <laughs> turn the knob, which is right there, here, click on. There's a digital screen right there, like a little computer screen. So the camera senses what it's picking up. There's also, a, if I turn that knob up a little bit higher, That's not, let me shut the light off on the camera. There's a little infrared illuminator. I'm not sure how far this shines out. Took it outside yesterday, last night when me and Leo were out for our evening walk. Fence line, 35, 40 yards away. Illuminator on, I could see it. Enough ambient light out in the neighborhood, street lights and things like that off in the distance. I could also see the fence line without it. But the thing is, with the illuminator on, gives you a little fine, sharper details. So basically, that little computer screen is what you're viewing on. First set I got off Amazon were an ET Dragon, which wouldn't even work. Well, they worked, but then after 15, 20 seconds, the screen would start going all zigzag and white noise and everything else, and it wasn't even viewable. There's Leo, the channel mascot, coming over and say, Hey, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me pause the camera and get back. <laughs> He's got a photo bomb us. Probably thinking, what would I need one of these for for ham radio? Well, maybe you need to check on your antennas outdoors. It's after hours, you don't want to turn a flashlight on. Your neighbors think you're some weirdo for shining a flashlight out in the yard. You're out doing a portable event. You hear something. You heard a tree branch break. You want to check on the antenna, make sure nothing took it down. You know, a whole bunch of thousand different uses, a million uses. The more you think about it, I'm sure you could find uses for this, even in a ham radio application. <laughs> He's got to photobomb us. Okay, anyways, I guess Leo's going to photobomb the video. Hope you guys don't mind. It's my lovable little guy. He's got to go everywhere with me, kind of like my friend Todd, KB7RQQ, his uh, cat, Ollie. Always got to sit on his lap, so... 
They're like family. But anyways, it does work. It does work most impressive. I'm not sure if that's the same thing as a tripod mount. Because I do have a couple monopods around here. It does look like there's some sort of metal insert in there, which is good. It's a cheap nylon housing. Like a Krylon type housing. It's not, well, this part here and here is aluminum. I don't know what else is metal in the thing. The battery compartment's right there. I got two uh, Duracell Power Boost batteries in there, which seem to be powering up perfectly fine. There's a sacrificial lens filter you can put on the top of it, kind of like in cameras. It's just a filter that goes over top, so if you're going to damage something, you damage the filter and not your actual glass lens. Ruin that scratch out, you're kind of SOL. But, anyways. Does come with a little J arm and mounted on like a bump helmet, something like that. And it comes with a little cloth. Molly Pels pouch. Inside of there, there's another screw for this J arm. I'm not sure why. Unless that C clip fell out of there and you lost it or something, but maybe to make an improvised mount, mount it to something else. I don't know. So, anyways, got this from a guy out there in Kansas off eBay. Oh, let me shut it off before the battery goes dead. And it works quite well. So if you need night vision just for surveilling a field or not running into a bear. <laughs> we ran into a skunk before out there. Had to bounce off my damn leg. You know, this might be just a thing to look ahead of you. You're out camping. You know, I know some people are into Bigfoot hunting. Yeah, here you go, Leo. Check it out. Um... You know, there's a whole bunch of different uses and application for it. This is the Canis Latrans. ET Dragon makes one. Find those on Amazon. And if you get lucky, find an old used one. The Bushnell Sentry was basically the same thing. Which leads me to believe that maybe the Chinese manufacturer that made it for Bushnell kept the molding, the casting, all the parts. Bushnell said, okay, we'll contract with you make a million of these things. So the contractor, instead of making a million, they run off two million, three million, five million. Those Chinese men are sneaky. Anything to make a buck. It's not bad. There are some limitations. Infrared illuminator might give you away, but who the hell is going to see that little tiny dot 50, 100 yards away? Um, the night vision. You know, it's good, it's sharp. You focus the front, at least this is why I did to focus it. Focus the front and focus the back a little bit to bring it into focus. So every time you focus at something different distance, you're going to have to readjust. But I focused about 100 yards, and as long as you're just zooming across a field, everything seemed to be good. Only until I came in and like focused at something 20 yards away, then I had to readjust it. So. Anyways, need some night vision. I guess this is a good, safe alternative. So get your seal approval button. Yeah, you like that? Okay. He's like he approves.